Hey there, everyone. It's time to bring in the latest on Amari Cooper's situation. Turns out Dallas Cowboys are going to try and trade him first before going in for the release. Oh, my God. Yeah. It just confirmed it. So, yeah. So, while I'm doing this video, it's time for me to break down my top five teams I think should go in for the Amari Cooper sweepstakes. Whether it's trade, whether it's release, da 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 Either way, yeah, it's time to break down Amari Cooper's sweepstakes. Because, let's face it, he's going to be a big name to look at, folks. <laughs> the, first the first team I'm looking at is, is his former team, Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I don't know if he ever played in Las Vegas. But yeah, Raiders he he are a fam are a familiar organization to Amari Cooper. He played for them before they traded him off to Dallas Cowboys. I don't know if that's going to happen though, because they were the ones that traded him out. But if they were willing to welcome him welcome him back to the team, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Thing is, Josh McDaniels is the head coach. He hasn't been head coach since his glory days in Denver. But hey, maybe you could use his Patriot style to help. Derek Carr and Amari Cooper together. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah. The second team I'm looking at is... Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers are definitely a team to look at. Especially if they lose Mike Williams. Because, let's face it. Amari Cooper is familiar with the AFC West. To be completely honest. I am definitely going to say that Chargers are also in the mix. Because Mike Williams, we don't know if he's going to be sticking around. But if they do try and fight him, for him, that's going to be a big one. But if they lose Mike Williams, they can get Amari Cooper because he's familiar with the AFC West. Oh my god. Speaking of which, speaking of AFC West, I have to say it. I'm going to put Kansas City Chiefs on the list as well. Kansas City Chiefs uh, need... All the weapons they can get, especially after falling short into the AFC Championships. I know they're. I know they need a familiar off. I need. I know they need a strong offensive line. But if they can score Amari Cooper and put him with Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey, Kansas City Chiefs would be unstoppable. Once again, oh my God, oh my God. The fourth team I'm looking at is Jacksonville Jaguars. Doug Peterson, he's building an NFC version of Jacksonville. So if they can score Amari Cooper, oh my god, I am so going to be freaking out if that happens. But it can only, but but a part of me says it's going to be done through a trade and I think Dallas Cowboys could be in a position to trade with Jacksonville to get Amari Cooper over there because they the Cowboys can score major draft picks. Jacksonville can give Trevor Lawrence a really great wide receiver, folks. But the thing is but the bad part is, if you do that, you're going up against the Titans and Colts defenses twice a year. That's going to be a big problem for 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 your synchronicity with Trevor Lawrence. But hey, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. The final team I'm looking at... Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm saying this. I'm going to say New England Patriots. Yeah, give the Patriots all the weapons they can get. Last year, free agency was unstoppable was amazing. I say all Patriots needed was a, a reliable wide receiver. Get Amari Cooper over to New England and the Patriots would be back to their glory days. Well, they're already back in their glory days, but hey, they couldn't be any further from their glory days if they had lost in the wild card. <laughs> Anyways, those are my top five teams who I think should get Amari Cooper. Like I said before, Raiders, Chargers, Chiefs, Jaguars, and Patriots. Those are my top five teams, I think, who should get Amari Cooper. Anyway, see you when I bring you even more breaking news.